Hey folks, good morning. April is finished, so you know what that means. It's time to insert the Justin Timberlake meme right here. Yeah, happy May, y'all. Um, I take one week, one week off of work, and then I come back and all hell breaks loose. Do y'all ever have that happen to you whenever you take a vacation and you come back to work and you're like, what is even going on right now? I just finished my first night back and I'm on my way home from work and I, number one, I just wanted to turn the camera on and talk to you so that I don't die on the way home from work. So bear with me there because after having a week off of work, I got on a nice normal routine sleeping at night awake during the day schedule. So being that last night was my first night back, I woke up yesterday morning at about 7 a.m. like a normal person, wide awake, full of energy and ready to go. Life was grand. That must be nice for people who get to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. I do not, however. So now that I'm back to work, I tried to take a nap yesterday afternoon. That didn't work out. I was just too awake. So I had to come on into work and work all night. It is now 7 a.m. I've been awake for 24 hours straight and I have an hour drive home. So yeah, I'm just going to talk to you for a minute. Really, this video is probably going to be mostly complaining. Well, complaining in one way, but not in another. We'll get to that. So I will apologize for the complaining part though. Um, I mentioned in my earlier May budget outlook video that this month is a three paycheck month for me and that I have overtime on two of those three paychecks. Well, about that, um, when I got back from a uh, vacation, last night I was scrolling through Facebook before I left to come into work and I see a post by one of the other girls, the ultrasound girls, that she put in her two weeks notice. And I was like, oh, that's no good. And I get to work and find out that there's actually a second girl that has also put in her notice. And I was like, oh, super, this is getting better. And a big reason, maybe not the reason for one of them, but a big reason that this is happening is that for years now, I have been working with um, the company that I work with for almost three years now. For three years, they've been telling us that we have to get our vascular ultrasound registry, um, that they want everybody in the ultrasound department to be vascular registered. If you work as an ultrasound tech, there's any number of different registries that you can choose to get depending on what area you want to work in as an ultrasound tech. Some people specialize and do breast ultrasound. Some people specialize and just solely do OBGYN. People like me who work emergency end up seeing a whole lot of different exams. So, um, you know, people that do that, sometimes they choose to get multiple registries. Yours truly, I have um, my vascular registry that I got after this company hired me, they said, hey, we want everyone to be vascular registered. So I said, all right, I can do that. And I got my vascular registry a couple months after they hired me. I also have my abdomen registry. I have um, my OBGYN registry as well. So I'm triple registered. It's not really that big of a deal, but anyway, I've got my three registries. So, you know, I haven't had to worry about this vascular registry mess for a long time now. Well, allegedly, the deadline is approaching for people to become vascular registered, and that is what has spurred a couple of the girls to um, put in their notice. And I'm not actually exactly sure how many ultrasound people we have on staff, but I think there's about 10 out of maybe 20 or so of us who do not have their vascular registry. So if they are really going to hold strict about having this vascular registry rule by the end of July is what I'm hearing thrown around. 
if they're gonna hold strict to that end of July date for the vascular registry, then there's gonna be about half of us that end up getting fired. So I've already signed up to work a whole ton of overtime in the month of May. And I'm ready, willing, and able to work more hours. So May may end up being exhausting for me, but at least I will make bank for this month if that ends up happening. Furthermore, two of the ultrasound girls who are vascular registered will actually be going out on a surgical leave here soon. Uh, I'm not sure the exact dates or details on that yet, but they're going to be out for a few weeks, you know, recovering from surgery. So that's even more of us that are going to be gone. And y'all, the people that have put in their notice have worked for this company for a decade or more. So it's really making me nervous that they were scared enough to the point that they started to look for other jobs or just decided to put in their notice altogether and quit working. Um, it seems to be pretty serious. So all of this to say that I think that I'm going to be getting a whole lot of extra hours here in the coming future which is a good thing financially for me, and I will make do with that as much as possible. Um, Y'all know I've still got about $50,000 of debt that I need to pay off, so I will take advantage of the overtime where I can. Um, but if they're having me work a lot, you know, my videos may be a little bit fewer and farther in between. I will try to keep up with everything as best I can. I know it's May 1st now and I have not actually even put up my April budget wrap up video yet. I'm going to try to film that today after I get home and sleep and have a little bit clearer of a mind to do that April wrap up video and then hopefully I'll have that out later today. I'll be doing really good if I make it home this morning and edit this and get it up as well. So <laughs> I hope y'all will just bear with me through the ramblingness that happens after I work all night and have been awake for 24 hours. I know I ramble a lot. It helps me stay awake though. So thanks for doing your part to um, keep me awake, keep me alive, keep me earning that money for another night. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, one small good thing that may happen with all of this craziness going down at work. Um, my work schedule, I do 12-hour uh, shifts, three 12-hour shifts a week, but as of right now, the nights that I work are not all together. I work Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights every week. I would love it if I could get three nights right in a row together that would help as far as just my circadian rhythm flip-flopping back and forth between night shift and day shift all the time. It's really physically hard on my body and I didn't even realize how hard of a toll it's taking on my body until I actually got a vacation for a week. It's awful y'all and I ain't getting any younger. But if the girl who normally works Wednesday nights will end up taking one of the positions of the um, one of the girls that left during the daytime, then there's a possibility, a small chance, that I might be able to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night all the right together and get my three 12-hour shifts done. And that would be awesome because I would have every Friday night and every Monday night off. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's pretty awesome. I wouldn't even need to take vacation hours very much, really, if you think about it. So maybe that'll happen. Um, but the girl that works Wednesday nights would have to take this other position, and then they would have to approve me doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I don't know who would work Friday nights anymore if I took Wednesday nights. So, you know, there's other things to figure out about that. So 
if y'all are still here with me, I appreciate you watching this video and listening to me complain about this work situation. <laughs> Let me know down below if that has ever happened to you before. Have you ever had a situation like that come up where you take a long vacation or a week long vacation and then you come back to work expecting things to just go back to normal and all of a sudden all hell is breaking loose. It's craziness. But anyway, I hope that the month of May is going to be a spectacular month for y'all too. If nothing else, I may be working a lot this month, but hey, at least financially, it's going to be a good thing for me. I'm going to have plenty of overtime and, you know, I'm trying to do a no spin slash low spin for the month of May. So any extra money that I get this month, I can put towards my debt. Y'all, I'm, I'm almost halfway through my debt free journey. I started with about $90,000 of consumer debt. And I, if I can make it to $45,000, which I will in the next two months, I should be able to make it down to $45,000 owed and I will be halfway through this journey. It is a grind. And I wanna celebrate halfway through, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, the cup is half empty. <laughs> But not really, because if you think about it, it won't take me as long to get the last $45,000 paid off because of interest. I've been making headway, getting this debt gone, so every month, more of my money is actually going towards the principal balance owed. That's, um, you know, the good thing about paying off debt. It's also the big advantage to using the debt avalanche method over the snowball method, but, you know, to each their own. So yeah, this has been a really super long rambling video. I apologize again, y'all, but I appreciate my OG subscribers listening to me and um, sticking around in all of my crazy videos that I do. I just felt like talking to y'all this morning so that I could at least get part way through my drive home, staying awake, and feeling like I'm having a conversation with somebody. <laughs> so. Thanks y'all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd appreciate a subscribe. I'm almost to 500 subscribers, which is awesome. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys later today for my April budget wrap up, color with me slash net worth update, which is insane by the way. And, um, savings rate for the month of April. I will also update that as well. So yeah, I'll see y'all for that video coming up next. Bye.